I am regularly asked about Fleming's left hand rule, so I figured, let's make a video, see if I can make it a bit easier. Have I succeeded in that? I don't know, maybe you'll let me know. Hello physics fans, today I'm going to go over Fleming's left hand rule based on a question from the AQA papers. So this is a five mark question and I'm going to develop the perfect mark scheme for you. The teacher demonstrated how a magnetic field can cause a copper rod to accelerate. The teacher placed the copper rod on two brass rails in the magnetic field and the copper rod was free to move. When the teacher flipped the switch, the copper rod accelerates. Explain how Fleming's left hand rule can be used to predict the direction in which the rod will move. Start off your answer by saying something about how the first finger and the second finger of the left hand are at right angles with the thumb pointing upwards. Since F is the first letter of first, we know that the first finger points in the direction of the magnetic field, i.e. from north to south. So add something like this to your answer. First finger is magnetic field and so points downwards. The letter C in second tells us that the second finger points in the direction of the electrical current. This is always from positive to negative as shown in the diagram here. And you can therefore see that the current appears to travel along the copper rod from the back of the diagram towards the front. So add something to your answer along the lines of second finger equals current, which is positive to negative, and so is out of the page. It's around about now that you should begin to realise that your hand is pointing in directions that you didn't think you could normally make it go. Good luck with that. After a while, you will settle, hopefully, with your thumb pointing off to the right. And this is the direction of the force on the wire. So add something like this to your answer. The thumb represents the force or thrust and should point off to the right. It's time to review our answer. One, two, three, four. Ooh, look, only four points. So we need a fifth one, really. How about a closing statement like, and so the copper wire moves to the right. 